Next, I'm going to demonstrate compression for you. Compression is a fantastic new feature in SQL Server 2008 that um, gives you a lot of benefit for very little work. It saves storage space in the database and improves query performance. Um, and all you have to do is go compress some existing tables in order to start benefiting from this. So um, what I'm going to do first is I'm going to show you how to estimate the compression savings that you can get on a table that is not yet compressed. So let's take a look first at the table called Fact Reseller Sales 2. If you right click on this in the graphical interface, you'll see that there is a storage menu choice. If I choose Manage Compression, then when I go to this dialog, it, it asks me if I want to calculate the estimated compression savings. So I'm going to say use the same compression type for all partitions, and I'll choose page compression, which is the, the type of compression that uh, is most effective in terms of saving space in the database. And then I'm going to calculate. And in a second here, you'll see that uh, it'll show me the amount of space used currently is 459 megabytes and after applying compression it estimates that it'll only take 198 megabytes. So that's a, that's a pretty good savings. It's more than a factor of two. So suppose I decide that I want to go ahead and do that. Then what I can do is, just again I choose that uh, storage and manage compression choice. And then I'm now allowed to choose what type of compression setting I want. Again, I want page compression. Instead of calculating, just to get an estimate of how much space I'm going to save. And in this case, I'm actually going to run it. So um, I can run the script immediately. It'll create a script for me to do this and just run it. So here it goes. I'm going to pause this uh, for a while. It's going to run for a little while, and then I'll pick up the demonstration again. At this point, the compression is done. It came back with a success status. All right. So now I can go in and I can actually see what happened. If I look at the properties for this, I click Storage. Um, you can see the compression type is indicated as page compression. That's because I compressed it using page compression. And um, the data space, it actually, the actual space used is 210 megabytes. That's so pretty close to the estimate. The things I've shown you so far with respect to compression, I've demonstrated through the graphical user interface. However, you can also uh, script these in, in T-SQL. Uh, here's an example. This particular command right here estimates compression savings. I'm not connected, so I'm going to go ahead and connect. So I'm going to estimate compression savings on this table for page compression, and it should come back and tell me that it's not going to save any space because it's already compressed in that format. But this is just an example of how you can run the command directly from, from the, the T-SQL prompt. So that's an illustration of how you can do that from, from T-SQL. When I compressed a table earlier, I compressed the entire table. It was a non-partition table. I compressed the whole thing in one shot. But you may have a very large partition table, and you may want to compress parts of it at a time. Maybe you're, you don't have enough time to do compression on the whole thing at once. And because of the way compression is designed to operate with partitioning, uh, you can do that no problem. So you can compress individual partitions. Let's take a look at um, the tables here. This table here, 
factory seller sales part is a partition table. So I'm going to manage compression for this. And you'll see that the first two partitions are not compressed, but the rest of them are compressed. So I'm going to compress these first two partitions so that all the partitions are compressed. So at this point, it's going to compress just those two partitions. And that's all there is to it. I can go back and check my work. You see those two compressions are now shown as, excuse me, those two partitions are shown as compressed. So I've demonstrated for you how to estimate how much space you'll save with compression, how to compress an entire table, and how to compress one or more individual partitions in a table. So I hope you like that demonstration and you'll be able to put this to work um, when you get back to the office. It's very easy to use and that it doesn't affect your, the rest of your applications. Um, your applications will still work just fine with compression turned on for tables.